Hello everyone, in this video we are going to briefly look at discs and balls in uh, different contexts. So we're going to look at a small snippet uh, from this wonderful text, Calculus of Several Variables by the famous Serge Lang. Um, this is one of my favorite books uh, in my collection and there's a long story behind it, but let's get to the mathematics so we can learn some stuff. Let P be a point in the plane and A a number greater than zero. So we're going to say that the set of points X such that um, the distance between X and P is less than A. Um, that set of points is going to be called the open disk of radius A centered at P. And the set of points X such that this is true, so we have the distance between X and P being less than or equal to A, that's going to be called the closed disk of radius A and center P. And then the set of points such that the distance between X and P is equal to A, uh, this is going to be called the circle of radius A and center P. It says these are illustrated in figure 20. So let's take a look at figure 20 so you can see exactly what that is. So here's figure 20. So here's the circle, right? The circle, that's going to happen when you have a quality, right? That would be, again, this condition here, right? So that's what's going to give you the circle, right? And then this is the disk. Now the disk can be, as, as mentioned earlier, and so I'm going to draw a picture here so you can see it uh, a little bit better. The disk can be uh, open or, or closed. So let's talk about that. Let me just show you what, what, uh, what Lang means there. So if, let's say that P is our point in the plane, right? So if we have little dots like this, that means I'm not including this point, and then we just look at what's in here, and this here is A, this would be, this would be the open disk. Okay, that's going to be the open disk. And then the closed disk, okay, the closed disk is going to be exactly the same. So here's P. And I know I'm, I'm putting the dots, but it just helps me draw. I'm really bad at drawing, so I'm not a good artist at all. So you see, my circle doesn't even look that good. So it's a struggle. It's, it's amazing I've been able to um, teach mathematics. This is the closed, because I'm a terrible artist, closed disk. So that's the closed disk. And then if you have just the circle, uh, that, that comes from a quality. So this one is going to come from this inequality. And this one is going to come from this inequality. right? And then the circle uh, will come from equality. So let's just go ahead and do that one really quick, just so you can see all three pictures uh, you know, as explained in the book. So here's P. And then again, I'm just going to do my little dots here because it's easier if you just draw it like that. There we go. Nice little circle, like an artist. There's my beautiful circle of radius A centered at P. And so this is just um, the circle, right? This is just the circle. Um, so this is the circle centered, centered at. P of radius A. So that's what this is going to be. And the equation in this case that describes this is the distance between X and P is equal to A. So there's all three, um, all three you know, cases. Now it gets even more interesting, right? We're not done. So let's keep going. Let's go back to this classic work. I, to me, this is like a, a, just a, a fun book to look at. So I thought I would make this video and just show you some stuff. Um, let's keep reading and see what, what else Lang has to say. So he says next that in three-dimensional space, the set of points x such that the distance between x and p is less than a, that's going to be called the open ball of radius a and center p. And the set of points x such that 
the distance between x and p is less than or equal to a is going to be called the closed ball of radius a and center p. And then the set of points x such that the distance between x and p is equal to a will be called the sphere of radius a and center p. So that is, that is a key difference there. Uh, and this is, this is really key here. So this is key, look at this. In higher dimensional space, one uses the same terminology of ball and sphere. So that is very, very important and is something that needs to be mentioned. So I feel like this is the kind of thing that people need to know. It's one of the reasons um, I love this book. And then here's a picture. This is your figure 21 illustrates a sphere and a ball in three spaces. So here's the sphere, okay, and then here's the ball. This is, this is very important as well. The sphere is the outer shell, and the ball consists of the region inside the shell. The open ball, basically the open ball is not gonna include the sphere. The open ball consists of the region inside the shell, excluding the shell itself, so excluding the, the sphere. The closed ball consists of the region inside the shell and the shell itself, or the actual shell itself. And then it just goes on and it kind of switches gears and talks about uh, something related. So, but yeah, pretty cool stuff. Uh, so I thought I would just uh, show you this. This book is great, by the way. Um, uh, I'll try to see if I can find it, leave a link somewhere in the video so you can check it out. Uh, it's, it's called Calculus of Several Variables, and I actually, yeah, I got, I got this book a long time ago. Here's the copyright. So you see there's, there's various editions. Um, this is the, uh, I think this is the second edition, or third edition. Um, second edition. This is it right there? Yeah, second edition. But the copyright's here. See, because it's 68, 73, and 79, so it's, so it's like, why, why is it the second edition? Maybe there was some corrections or something? Because, like, it's three different, I mean, that's pretty far apart. Those years are pretty far apart, so it makes me wonder, like, huh. But yeah, this is the second edition. Uh, and then you can see it covers a lot of content, not just calculus, right? It's got, I mean, it's got a lot of stuff. Um, lots of mathematics, lots of mathematics. I mean, what we were talking about was not calculus, right? We were just talking about... Uh, open balls and closed balls and spheres and disks. So in, in, in two-dimensional space, it, it's called it's called a disk. But once you get to like three-dimensional space, and I'm terrible at drawing spheres, but basically, you know, you know, some some three-dimensional that that's terrible. I shouldn't even try. I give up. <laughs> so yeah, so calculus of several variables. Hopefully, hopefully you've learned some stuff. Uh, if you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe, like, check out my other channel where I post stuff, The Internet Sourcer. Check out my courses, they're on Udemy, uh, but use my links because I've lowered the prices and it helps me, mathsourcer.com. Until next time, keep doing mathematics and I hope you learn some stuff.